Hi everyone and welcome back to my another video and today we're gonna talk about teaching tools and how to use them in your class. And as I see in different groups, the classing community is expanding a lot. So if you're new here, I'm sure it's gonna be very useful for you to get familiar with some basic stuff. And if you've been using classing for some time, maybe you'll discover some new features. And by the way, guys, if you wanna check all the features that Class In provides, please check my link down below in the description. So there you can get two trial weeks for free. So you can discover everything in this platform. And I think it's really amazing. So let's start with the first teaching tool, and this is Timer. I usually use this tool when I want to add some dynamic to my class, especially when there are several students. And actually you can have a lot of fun with that. So let's check it right now. All right, so when I was creating this activity, I was thinking about how to make it a little bit unusual, a little bit different from some simple activities where you can just use timer um, until somebody replies or something like this. So I've created this activity where you are in the kitchen, you got a microwave and you need to warm up some stuff that you have here. So yeah, you see it works like a normal timer. So let's imagine you have a lot of students and you can ask them what we gonna put inside of the microwave oven first. And yeah, imagine they say hamburger. So you put it there, set up a timer for five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, here we go. And just to make it more entertaining, you can add some steam on the top of it. So it looks like it's hot. <laughs> yeah, so this is an idea. How can you actually interact with timer tool and create different interesting activities using it. The second tool is dice. I'm sure you've played before a lot of different table games with dice. So I was wondering if there any chance to bring some of them to class in. This is a very classic dice game. You just need to roll the dice. Uh, you got a number and according to this number you get a word and you can let the students To make different sentences with this word or just to make a story based on this word or something like this Yes, yeah, so you can see the classic dice game can be fully transferred to class in and it can become a very good basement for your new ideas you can create this kind of activities use maybe sentences or different pictures whatever you want so this is just an example the third tool is a selector before i had a video where i was showing how to use selector in different tests uh, here should be a link you can check it but today I want to do a little bit different thing. Just want to show you a split screen where you can actually see what does teacher see and what does student see. All right, the interface looks a little bit different because the teacher is using a laptop and the student is using an iPad. So I just want to show you the difference of the interface and the difference between uh, those windows that we have, for example, when you choose an answer for a student he has this selector window but it it is a little bit smaller than the actual teacher's window and it follows the same you move it as you see right now so for example let's imagine that the student chooses the right answer here is a and he taps post so you see how does it look like on the teacher's screen and if the student chooses the wrong answer let it be B. Yeah, you see it on your screen like that. But student can change his answer to A before you click that button. Yeah, and here the student can see his result and you can check details. So selector function is very, very useful. You can make different tests. And as I mentioned before, you can check some of them in my previous videos. Tool number four is a slot machine. In my opinion, it's a perfect tool to play different games with questions and answers, but you can add some different stuff into your EDB file to make it more entertaining. 
yeah, when I'm talking about different stuff, I mean different images, like this TV, for example, and my point here, if you just use this slot machine and you just roll it and appears the student's name and you just say, okay, here's your turn. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but can be a little bit boring. So these small details like TV or you can bring a laptop or I don't know, whatever, just to make the thing more entertaining. And after you roll it, unfortunately, I don't have students here, but yeah, imagine that I am a student. So yeah, here's my turn and I just bring myself into this TV and I'm pretty sure it's just gonna make the whole process more interesting and more entertaining. So you can try it. And the last one is a responder. This tool is very easy to use, but this time I wanna show you how does it actually look from the student's side. I'm showing you this cause it looks very different from the teacher's side and from the student's side. So it's really, good to know how does it actually look because you see when you open it first your students don't see anything but then after you click start this circle appears randomly and then somebody needs to tap or click on that and for example we got a student here she clicks on that and you see we have the answer so I just do it one more time for you to understand that before you click start nothing appears and you click it randomly appears everywhere and yeah somebody needs to tap it again yeah it works like that so in the case if no one does it mm, nothing's just gonna happen <laughs> let's let's check it three two one yeah and no one replies <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. So just keep it in mind and next time you're gonna use a responder You can think about how to place it in a better way on the screen All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I would really appreciate if you can hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and also if you have any ideas or questions that you would like to ask me Please leave them all down in the comment section. So that's it have a good day and see you soon. Getting I hope on a Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for a new way. I think I like it how it is.